Hello everybody, you probably wonder what on earth has happened to them. To the guy. What's happened to Simon Leach? Disappeared. I'm sorry I've been a little bit caught up this last week or so with quite a busy schedule. And um, I'm desperate to get, get this kiln packed. Dear, dear. Seems to be taking longer than I was thinking. So anyway, I've just, I'm, I'm down here. I've got the, I've got the kiln down there sort of three quarters packed. I've just got some more little, uh, just a selection of, of different kind of tea bowls here. Uh, you can see in front of me with different kind of decorations uh, as you can see there and um, actually what I've what I've got to do is I've just got finished glazing these I've got three little covered three little covered boxes here that I just want to quickly glaze so let's just get the camera down here I'll try and do it so so you can see what's going on if, I, if it's possible So here we are, I've got these, these guys. Now of course, as, as always, you've got to make sure, I've got a knife here or something. Sometimes you get, little cruddy bits in there that you need to get out, you know. Now's the time to do it, so. This is one of the ones that I did with the potato peeler. In fact, all of these three here are. Right? So, just down here, I've got some some of that Celadon glaze, which is a green glaze for reduction. This is to about cone cone eight nine, I suppose. So, always give your glaze a good stir. And now I'll try and do this and at the same time as filming it, which should be exciting, won't it? Um, you'll probably hear the river in the background there. Now, sometimes it's a bit of a job to know how to, to hold things when you're going to glaze them. So in this case, I'm just going to hold it like that around the, the rim. And that's just going to go straight in there like that. And then out. Now I'm going to put that over here on the side. Like that. Now the base here, this fellow, I'm going to hold him like that, you see? Two fingers on the inside. Through the glaze. And out. Put in there. Now little marks where your fingers have been can be wiped off. Not sorry, what am I talking about? Wiped off, touched up with a paint with a with a with a brush. Okay, same with this one. Through whoops. There we are. Of course it's gonna to have to be cleaned off here in in the the gallery area where the where the lid is going to locate. To be aware of the thickness of the glaze and each time you successively dip it you get an added layer of glaze so you just want to be aware of that. Right, oh, I just got actually one on the end there, that one I've already done. So I'm going to just um, clean that fella off. So you can watch me while I do that. Oh, nice warm water, that's good. So, you take a knife. Now, this is going to have to be cleaned off, so I'm going to just... scrape that all around there, where it's going to... 
sit on the other one. Now the the depth there of the of the gallery, I'm going to have to make sure I clean that back enough here on the inside. The way I do that is I get a knife like this and I kind of set a distance like with my thumb like that and then I can, can go all the way around like this, you see. Now I know a lot of you out there will be saying, oh, well you should just wax it. It's a lot easier. Well, I get your point. It is easier if you wax it. Um, but if you're only doing a very small number, you've got to weigh up, well, is it worth heating up all the wax and everything? Actually, I don't actually have any wax here at the moment ready, ready to do this, so I'm, I'm just having to do it like this anyway. So just... Whenever you do any cleaning like this and you're cleaning back, always leave a margin. If you think it's maybe as you've cleaned it back enough, well, you probably haven't cleaned it back enough. Just leave a little bit extra in case the glaze um, decides to run. You need to allow for that. So just leave a little extra. So basically what I do is, and then of course there's the base here to do. Again, just take my knife like this and go around. This is kind of basic stuff. It's the sort of probably one of the most least enjoyable parts of making ceramics, I think, is, is the cleaning off, you know, once you've glazed. I don't actually enjoy that much, but it's the donkey work. It's still got to be done, so we might as well know how to do it and do it properly, because if you don't know how to do it properly, all your efforts and all your work can go on the scrappy if you don't bother to do it, get it right and take some care. You know, imagine you're making a nice covered box and it comes out of the kiln and the lid is stuck on it, you know. So having done that, once I've scraped it with a knife, I then get a sponge and sponge off around have some clean water to do this I used to hate having to do this, sometimes father would say to me Simon could you glaze and uh, clean off those 20 covered boxes please my heart would sink I would think oh my god are you sure I can go and do some other job? <laughs> so, there we are, I see. Just take a bit of, don't be in a rush. Just take a bit of time over this and make sure you get it, get it clean everywhere it needs to be clean. For the reasons I said. actually an important work. I know it's a lot easier if you've got wax. Well I haven't got any wax here at the minute so having to do it this way. Now these pots here I'm just about to want to get them into the kiln and get the door up tonight and get it clammed up. So I can start the kiln because that kiln hasn't been fired in 10 years. It's surely going to have some moisture in it, which I'm going to need to drive off. So I'm going to need to just do a preheat and get things um, dry. Okay, there's that one. You see, I've done now. You see how long it's taken me to do it. I've cleaned it off. Yes, I've got enough margin there. All right. So that one is ready to go into the kiln. So, 
Hey, keep practicing, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> anyway, Simon Leach is saying, I've already said it, haven't I? Keep practicing. Bye now.